Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the Click eCourse platform how to navigate it as a summit attendee or you know if you're on another course or anything like that if you want to navigate it as a student as an attendee we're going to talk about that and show you how uh, it works in terms of uh, viewing things in terms of accessing things in terms of notifications messaging in terms of the feed and all that cool stuff that you can do because you might be thinking well this is just a place to have video which you know is definitely one thing it does but it's a lot more than that so we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so we're going to get into the Click eCourse site and show you how you log in, how you set up your account. I mean, the basics, obviously, you probably already got it done because you're already an attendee, but um, just kind of give a quick idea for anybody who's not yet there also I'm going to show you the basic navigation but also what else is around right what else is around what happens when you comment what happens when you reply to a comment what happens to you know all these different things so we're going to show you that and uh yeah so let's get right to it let me share my screen right over here oh you know what before actually we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this because this is also a podcast you might want to go and check out the video and the full blog at cis356.jsgagnon.com to to see the video and see the screen share and all that because obviously this is going to be showing the website and things like that so first let's talk about okay so you got an email saying that there's a new lesson added to the summit you're thinking okay what do I do here so there's a couple things first this link will take you to the actual summit or to the course if it's a course and this image and also the link here will take you to the specific thing so if I click on this for example let's click on this kind of show you where it goes it goes to the BitCloud virtual summit 24-hour access which is the main page of the summit right and navigation is over here you can go right directly to a specific one that you want to hear about or you can um go directly to the link if you go back to your email you can click right on this image that'll take you straight to Rhett's you know um video right his it goes straight to it like this it'll take you and start playing the video one thing you'll notice is that there's going to be this little intro let's let it play it's not playing right now. it doesn't necessarily automatically play so it's going to play this little intro it's a 10 second thing uh let's turn the sound off and what will happen next is that it'll start playing uh Rhett's video afterwards right so let's just let it go show you kind of how that works uh you'll see that it plays the next video um automatically does it or it depends whether it'll play automatically depends there we go so that's the video there the thing you'll notice oh I got my video in the way let's move that out of there the thing you'll notice is that on this side here there is an autoplay next lesson so if you let it play and this is checked <coughs> when it's finished this one it'll go to the next one and if there's no if there's no other videos it'll go to the to the next speaker one right um what else can I tell you okay you can disable that if you don't want it to skip to the next the other thing you can do as well is you can click right on this to mark it done and go to next it goes straight to the next one you might want to mark them done because when you look at the um, when you look at it if you if I go back to introduction here I go straight to the introduction and I mark it it see it says done it says done on the 21st let's turn this on so it says that this one was done on the 21st uh the 13th of May if I go to and that's why there's no next if I click on next right here this one was also done click on next let's just see see this one is not showing as done which means that I probably didn't watch it I mean me I did obviously because these are things I did but this one here is not mark done right so oops I guess I was on top of that too so let's put that back on this side but yeah so that's how you go to the next and next video right you can go straight to the videos by going into this navigation area here and if there's other 
uh, if you're in other courses it, there might not be a navigation it depends the, the author of the course can choose to have the navigation here or the videos will be down the bottom here but if you go to details right here that takes you back to the main the main uh, if you will page of the course and you click on the resume it'll automatically know where you left off where's the last video you marked as done so if in my case um whoops that's information in my case inside of the introduction we just no notice and, and that uh, the natalia uh, natalia ortega who's natalia is not done for me so if i click on resume it'll go to that one right i probably we probably could update the colors or add a little star or something or in here to show this is done that's not done right so you can kind of tell when you look at your list uh but uh yeah so that's kind of how that figures it out uh what else can I tell you about the actual navigation inside the course all right so comments if I click on this I can click on this add a comment right and uh excited to be doing this uh, tr ex uh well actually let's do that like this let's say go to cis what is it we said 355 I think let's go 356 cis 356. Okay, to see a blog post and video of me typing this, this a little, but also how to navigate the Quick eCourse site. Quick eCourse site as a as a summit oops as a summit attendee okay so now I'm adding a comment but I'm making it kind of relevant because I'm I'm creating this 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 tutorial right now but this is how you add a comment you just click you just click the add comment you type it in and then you click on save <clears throat> right so now it's uh it's going to show up down here after unless there's some error oh look at that looks like uh that's great you know when you're trying to demo something so I'm gonna have to look into why that didn't work but let me just reload the page see if that actually is, is just the display that's failing so if I click back on details it'll reload this page oh it looks like the the site is uh overloaded maybe but <clears throat> yeah because nothing's nothing's working it must be uh so that's how you add a comment let me just let me just pause the video and try to see if I can figure this out all right so we figured out this site was uh, overloaded but anyways it's there see the comment is right over here so now how does the comments work let's move my uh, image over here again so the comments basically you can add another comment you can actually if you if this is your comment in this case this is my test account right you can mouse over the name of the person to see who they are then that allows you to go to the, their profile about news courses and videos and you can also um, if you just click right on it it'll take you to that person's profile right which this is like I said it's a test account um actually I should probably you know what maybe I should update this and that's this is something you should do too you should update your own bio but right now I'm going to go and update my own right here I'm going to set the um this bio here this is a test account I'm recording recording cis three five what was it three five six three five six three five six right now now in this case it's actually a whoops it's actually a rich text editor so this won't convert to a link so if you want it to be a link you have to do this or well you have to get the link text and then you have to click on it to <laughs> to enter a, a link you're gonna probably gonna want to put underscore blank over here if you want it to go to a different tab <coughs> so that's that then I can just uh I I can just go back to someplace else it'll automatically save it so if I go to my let's say my news is my page where my news are if I go back to my bio it's gonna have the but I guess it didn't save it I gotta fix that that's no good that's no good that's no good we have to be able to save the bio right and maybe that's why some people aren't updating the bio anyways the other well actually you can actually update your bio right here 
in your uh details or in your profile I think yeah you can actually update the bio here oh that's what that that other page wasn't you know so currently this is a test account this is a test account owned by Serge Gagnon I'm currently recording CIS uh, video okay so let's just put that in here and let's make this a link and target underscore blank submit all right so now I want to actually make this a link as well as you can see it, a link is just a, a, a pointer to something else right so I can actually go to slash so click ecourse.com slash jsg is my row file so and I don't need it to be a new tab it can be in the no target submit and save there so now that saves my bio and if I go back to the course if I go back to the course right over here if I go back to the course right now I can see my comment is here and if I mouse over it you can see that I now I have the bio that I just updated right okay so that's how you update the bio um what else did I want to show you okay th this is okay so now what about the the lessons right the lessons themselves if I go to the lessons <clears throat> uh day four you can see that there's this okay so I'm just gonna add a comment here too and this is a test comment whoops this comment as I record the how these these the video on how to navigate navigate the click ecourse platform as a summit attendee whoops summit attendee so I'm I'm putting that here and you know what I can actually um you'll be able to watch the whole thing whole video at C cis356 right tomorrow okay so there you go let's do that watch the whole video well oh, actually no yeah this is just plain text I can't I can't I can't make other text a link here but um so if I save that actually I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to save it now that's going to be in here on this particular uh, page it looks like the load on the server is back up again but um and that says it failed but I'm pretty sure it saved it let me just uh, go check that out yeah so I mean the I don't know I got to look at that particular error but the comments there and I'm going to go back now to the introduction and I'm actually going to put that comment in here too and save that I'm guessing I'm gonna have the same error uh, uh, so I have to look into what's causing that error but um hopefully it'll be fixed by the time you check this but okay so now we have a comment here and I can actually put another comment in here I just want to put this comment so that people can go check that video out if they're looking at these different um, <clears throat> these different videos right okay okay so now the other thing that happens if I go back here you can see the comments there okay so the other thing that happens too is that whenever you uh, update your profile your profile picture your uh, or you post a comment on one of these uh, lessons they go in the feed so if you go up here there let's move my I'm going to move my picture down here again um so you go to the feed right over here so well before we go to there I want to kind of go, go over some of the other navigation you can do if you go back to inf if you see on information you can see how many videos are in this uh, summit you can see how long the videos are and how many you know seconds were watched if we look at all the people that are in the summit uh, totaling all their time it kind of shows you how long how much of it has been watched or three days of it which you know is pretty big uh, the other thing is when you go over here you can see right here you see notifications 
you'll see these notifications and that little little bell is there's going to have a little number with a red number on it whenever there's a new notification these are messages you can actually send private messages you can either go here or if you're for example let's say if I um if I go oh, I'll show you that in a second but you'll, you'll be able to send messages directly by clicking if I go here uh, and I mouse over anybody's uh, profile name there's always a mess oh I guess it's not there I thought there was huh I wonder why mm, oh because it's me <laughs> since it's my own <laughs> I can't there would normally be a message right here if it was somebody else sorry <laughs> all right so then there is the navigation here as you can see there's a whole bunch of things you can go check out API keys referrals purchases commissions activity that kind of stuff um if you uh, syndication blog library there's different things you can do on the site that has nothing to do with the summit right it's basically a platform that allows you to do all these things if you're not sure if let's say you're trying to find the uh your referrals and you're not sure where it is you're like where is it where is it you can just type over here ref right and it'll show you just the and menu entries that are or that are that right so that's that um okay so that's how that works and now let's see what else so when we're um I don't like that face I'm doing right there there you go that's better <laughs> all right so that's uh, the other thing you'll notice up here that there's a link you can actually click that that takes you back to the to the actual main page of the um the the summit and what else if I go back to that uh, introduction if I click on resume it goes back to wherever I was at right as you can see it went straight to one minute 20 seconds that's because it knows that I watched up to one minute 20 seconds of this particular video but all the other ones the site introduction summit introduction I I marked them as done so that way when I click on resume it goes back to wherever I left off so if you watched all of these if I just mark this as done oh there you go okay perfect this is actually I was wondering about other people have commented stuff right so you can see right here there's a there's a there's Olga that commented if I mouse over her you can see I get her picture and I see her profile and I also see message right here so I'm actually going to show you how to send a message to somebody just click on that and then it says conversation I'm going to say hey Olga awesome to see you here this is js in a test account for a video I'm doing right now so there so now I click on send message that will send her a message and she'll get a little notification up there this little thing will change to a one little red thing that shows that she's got a message plus uh depending on how her, her settings are she'll get an email as well Philip is the same thing here I can also message him and say hey Philip awesome awesome to see you here this is js in a test account doing a video for summit Navig navigation there we go send message okay so now the message is sent you can also click on change user right here which will load up the list of all the users that are on the platform which is a ton of people that are so you can select them right if I want to send a message to any of these people let's say I send uh, let's say I see somebody I recognize Darisha so one of the speakers I can select it and now I would be able to say hey Darisha right I can say that anyways I'll just cancel so now that so I've sent these two messages and if I look on here now I see I have two two conversations right here I can click on new or I can click straight on one of these and it'll take me to that conversation right so let's just cancel that okay so that's the private messaging uh, mechanism in here so now the other thing I can reply to this and I can say that's that's awesome this is James test account I I did lots of photography as a teenager now with with digital cameras it's not the same but 
some other is definitely better okay so right then save that so now it's gonna again it's probably gonna give me that same error uh, but if I reload this again it'll be there right looks like that show one more reply is that's interesting I didn't even know about that <laughs> feature <laughs> I go back to here okay pause that so uh and there oh there you go that is there oh and and Philip's reply is gone now so Philip's message is gone I may have to fix that too so look this is the thing right as I'm showing you how to use the platform I'm finding a tiny little well they might they're they're kind of big if you're trying to send a message or you're trying to comment or you're trying to do things and it seems like it's not working obviously um you might think you know it's not working so but uh but yeah so that's uh that's how that works uh okay so now the next thing I want to tell you about is the feed so whenever you do some public actions right like commenting on a public video like updating your profile picture as a public account because you can have a non-public account and uh, that that changes whether things are updated or not certain things are always public like your profile picture that's a public thing um but if you uh there's anyways there's certain things that are public and not it's it kind of says when you go to your profile here if I go to my profile uh you can mouse over these things and it'll tell you whether like your first name for example so your first name I can click on that it tells you your first name by default is not a public profile but you can make it public if you wish now that's uh, and so that means that nobody can see what your first name is you could have your real name there and then you could have a display name that's different the display name is public always public this is the name it's always public um but it won't change it won't post an update if you change your a profile picture it'll post an update right so this is over here you can see your profile picture we use anywhere you're mentioned it's always a public profile item and changing it'll post an update to the news feed so all these things are kind of there you can click on these little question marks to see what they are uh like the system given id you can't change it right that's the uh, same thing with your email you can't change your email um but uh yeah so that's kind of how that worked and so okay so now what okay so now let's look at the feed what am I talking about when I talk about the feed if I go to the feed right here this is kind of like a social media feed of the platform right so if I scroll down here you can see there's there's going to be things like adding lessons there's going to be things like uh, commenting on things creating publishing a new course um is this added a lesson as a lesson that's my okay there's also going to be things like commenting right so cis test which is my account right the, the test account I'm on right now uh posted a comment right it says I posted on introduction site introduction and this is my comment and this is the the course this is a lesson and I can add a comment to that if I want then there's also ratings uh other comments um and if I yeah you can see a bunch of different things there's also going to be profile picture updates let's wait for it to load up more uh, yeah so if I go to the top here and by the way the feed is going to be different for everybody it's like a randomized thing based on uh on well <laughs> the famous word algorithm right but if I click on refresh feed there should be new things showing up so there's a Natalia comment and thank you Liz amazing presentation and if I go and these are videos like th this is an example of one of the videos that's in the summit that's not available now anymore right because it was part of day two it was in day two and we're on day four as I'm recording this right now so this is not available but you can still see the comment that Natalia put on it right so I can click on this it'll take me to the um take me to the summit because that video is not available I probably should make it hmm I wonder if how I could uh I could probably fix the site so that it at least uh, it at least shows something because the reason why that's not showing is because that video is no longer available but I mean you wouldn't know right you're like uh what is it why am I not seeing anything right when the speakers are down here right this could be the one I show instead or something I'm not sure 
but uh yeah and the comments would be nice to see right without seeing the video so that, I mean it was, there's lots of little things I need to fix but that's basically how the platform works if I go back to the feed here you can see the the feed will always the feed will always um show you your items that you have already seen and they're going to sort them so if I go back I can scroll down I'll find the Natalia probably someplace anyways but that's the thing so the feed is basically a series of things that I've done you can see there's some new uh, profile updates right here right you can see new new public courses you can see new comments um you can see uh, yeah another profile picture another comment here another profile picture here so that's basically what the feed is all about it's what's going on on the site right the other thing you can see right over here you can see uh, whether you if you had commissions you'd see your your commissions here you'd see how many courses are this is the site statistics so how many courses on the site how many you know plays have happened on the site that kind of stuff uh, and but there's other things on the site too right I mean if you go to courses right here you can see all the courses that are available on the site right and in here you can see that we have the bitcloud virtual summit there we have the the, the bitcloud stuff is here right but we also have tiktok courses we have wordpress training we have creating your actually own course on the platform we have uh, some other you know octo content we have course income secrets which is what you're listening to right now is one of the episodes of course income secrets um we have uh, all of them here that that's free you can click on this well that's just, yeah there's two of them there's one of them which is the full length videos or audios if you will of all of them and then there's the other one which is a short version the five minute version for um alexa skills which is uh oh actually it's, it's not i guess it's not free it's a 49 dollar but uh you know if you wanted this if you wanted to access this to go check out all the different videos that are in this uh, course you could uh we would just I could give you a, a coupon to get it for free just say you saw this in this video in the video and that you're interested in getting access to it these are all like, available on YouTube anyways they're all available on, on but it's just finding them right they're on my blog this is kind of gives you a uh, organized view of them all right okay so that's that if you go to plans this is basically how much the platform costs for uh for different uh different levels there's uh there's different plans here and then different prices you show the prices the commission levels you get as well right for sharing uh other videos now how does that work okay yeah sharing how do you get say for example right now this um bitcloud virtual summit that we're on right now is free right this is free if I click on this I can anybody can get this for free they get access to the to the summit it's available and they can watch the videos as the days go on right now we're on day four so you can watch those three videos right but if you were on a different um oh sorry I'm just talking okay so sharing would go back to sharing so you want so how can you make money from from the platform right you can generate income by sharing the free stuff and then if the person decides to buy like right here there's a VIP lifetime pass right which allows you to access all the videos all the past videos and all the videos of the summit for life you can re-watch them and you can get the mp3 downloads there's different things like that you can get uh and that's not a lot of money if I click on this it takes me to the actual VIP uh funnel to to buy it right so there's two days left for this pricing right <coughs> uh, after that it'll go up to 147 actually and but the thing is that that's these are the bonuses you get you click on this you end up buying it and the thing is that if you want to get commission on this purchase from somebody you get 50 percent commission you get 46 something right or whatever it is so you get um you get 50 percent of that as a commission well how do you get that right you you can send if you send somebody to this link if you give them this link this funnel link you're not going to get anything because i there's no way for me to tell who sent it right but if you send them to the free to this free summit if you send them to this free summit 
with your link then we know that they came because you sent them to the summit and when they buy it we know that they got it from you so how does that work you just click on the share right here <laughs> and then this will give you your link you see how it says cis244 right there that's my link right now on this test account right I can copy it to the clipboard share again or I can share it to Facebook to Twitter LinkedIn or Pinterest right if I click on <coughs> share to Facebook <coughs> it'll load up this share thing with the course right clicky course course bitcloud virtual summit free 24 hour access and I can say hey there this is my whatever right so go have you seen this or something right so you can share that uh if Twitter's the same whatever right but the thing is that if you share that link and somebody comes to the site using your link they're tied to you we know that they're they're your referral and then if they buy it then you get the commission right so um, obviously you don't make any money from somebody accessing a free course or a free a summit here but if they ever buy the you know VIP pass then that's kind of how you could get some income so yeah so that navigation what else can we talk about then the, the messages here under more there's also the affiliate program which I kind of give you a bit of a, a basis you can also set up your own blog your own wordpress site and then there's syndication which is a process where you can take a video like what I'm doing right here this video I'm recording right now I actually take take it through the syndication process which generates me uh, an image for a video for Instagram um, a short video for LinkedIn and Pinterest a video for uh, an audio for SoundCloud and and uh, images for my blog images for so different things so it generates for me all the assets I need for all the different platforms because each platform has different things they want right some some platforms can't take videos longer than like Twitter it actually generates me a video a two minute video for Twitter so I can post it on Twitter as a video but I can't I I can't post anything longer than two minutes on Twitter as a video right on Pinterest I think it's 15 minutes but I use a five minute one but even though this video is 30 minutes or it's uh, we're at 32 minutes now even though this video is so long I can't post this video directly to Pinterest or LinkedIn or or, or Pinterest LinkedIn I guess and I can't post the full video there so I post a five minute version right and I have this thing at the end that says go check out the rest at this place or whatever right and that's all part of the syndication engine sites is basically lets you have your own course site it's like a school if you will where you can have just one lesson and one course in there if you want and you're just your own courses so you wouldn't when you went to uh, on your site if you clicked on courses you would only see your courses right so you can do that if you want and uh, yeah and you want to make sure you rate this course let's just rate it five stars right over here I'm just going to rate it five stars uh this is a great course well I did it so there you go so now I've rated it five stars as you can see now it says that I rated five stars and also ratings are as you saw earlier in the feed so if I go to back to the feed I'm not sure I don't know if it'll show up right away but um the feed oh there you go yes it does show up right here so that's what I did I just rated this five stars it's a great course well I did it okay and like I said all right like I said anybody that's posting here you're seeing this right Mark I can mouse over Mark and I can see his bio which is uh, quite long but still you know he's got it he's got a bio I can click on message to message him and uh and same thing with any of these users I can mouse over their name here and I can click on message right any of these people Cassidy uh, any of these right you can mouse over any of these right and you can just uh, send them a message or go to their profile if I click on here and I go to their uh, profile the about it takes me to their profile which has nothing in there yet right uh we got to fix that so tabs there's a so yeah so that's basically how you navigate the site but if we go back to the course you can click on here you can click on the library and that lists the courses that you have in your library right now as you can see we only have this one so you can click right on the image and then that's basically 
how you get back to the virtual summit all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions always just go ahead and comment or go ahead and send me a message and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time